for a week, you know, before we oh, get yeah, I think Cal told us after the game we got like seven practices or something in the next two weeks. So that's that's really good for us. Like Cal said, they're going to be tough, and everyone was kind of down on that. But, I mean, that's something we just got to get better and better as a team because once January comes, we got some big games in December. We got to be able to be ready for them. So what can't be? Last year, if you were feeling too much pressure, did you welcome this kind of challenge to beat the guy the offense goes through? Takes that leading score kind of role. Oh uh, yeah, that's something I, I I work for all my life to be able to score the basketball, be able to play the game the game that I love. So I mean, Cal, me and Hami are one of the two best scorers on the team. So we got to be able to put the ball in the basket. So a lot of people say I'm the main scorer. So I mean, I'm just going to take that role and be able to help my team out and get a basket when they need it. Kevin, you talked about how you guys put teams away. How do you think you did that? Uh, we just shared the ball. Like he, somebody said, they had, we had 22 assists. We didn't get selfish. Once we got up by 20 or 30, we just be able to keep playing our game. Uh, got a lot of good defensive stops, and everybody was just clicking, being unselfish, getting in the lane, passing the ball, knocking shots down. So, you know, like I said, it's one of our best games we played this year. Did this last whole week kind of feel like a step forward for you guys as a team? Yeah, I think this week of practice is really good for us. We came in sharp. Um, running the plays, listening to Cal, no no mess ups, no nothing. So I think it was a really good few days for us to get in the gym, get practice, change up some plays and stuff like that. I think we were really focused and that's something Cal told us at, at, today after the shoot around that we had a really good week of practice and we were ready for the night and I think it showed. How big will it be now to have just a game every few, you know, every week, one a week and have oh, these yeah. days in between to one rest and two? You know, learn some things. Yeah, it'll be tough. I mean, we're not really used to it. Uh, our practices, like I said, are one of the tougher practices, so it'll definitely be tough. I know Cal's going to be able to come in with a lot of energy, be yelling and stuff like that, but we got to be ready for it, come in, focus, because uh, like I said, we got some big games coming up that we got to be able to win. Don't you think you got a little bit better as a team should the last four games? Right? Yeah, I think so. I think we're making really great progress. I mean, the first game, uh, we were really shaky. And I think each game, we just keep getting better and better. And like Kyle said, we're, we're kind of clicking. We're starting to click now. Uh, we just got to keep it up. Why do you think PJ had such a good game tonight? I think PJ just came out with the mentality that he's going to be aggressive in the post. You saw him bullying the other big men, and that's 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 who that's who he is. Uh, getting the ball in the perimeter, being able to get into the lane. I think a lot of teams were double teaming him, and I think that's kind of why he has some slow games. But tonight they didn't double team him. That's what happens when you don't double team. PJ will have a great game. You saw him played with him some before before getting here. Were you surprised a little bit at how he struggled? He said he expected a slump at some point. He's glad he got out of the way early, but were you surprised a little bit early on with him? Uh, I mean, I knew I knew that he he came in the first game. He had a really good game. Uh, then he kind of started to slow down a little bit because teams were double teaming him, and he couldn't really get his shots off like that. But those two games, I mean, we just kept him up. We didn't get him down. We kept giving him feeding the ball and practice. We made sure he hitting those jump shots, getting comfortable. So, and once he got comfortable, he, he pretty much unstoppable.